We all dream of stumbling upon something like a rare comic book or buried treasure that will bring us great fortune without the effort of having to work for it. But some people actually have stumbled upon such finds. But some people actually have stumbled upon such finds, and one of the places where this happens is in storage units. Don't believe us? These are the luckiest storage unit finds ever. Number 15. A Mystery Safe In 2018, David Michael de Haas made a bid on a storage unit, one of a few going up for auction at J. Michael's auction. He paid $825 for a considerable amount of household items and gear inside a reasonably generously sized unit. He outbid many people for this popular unit. He'll certainly be pleased he did, because tucked away in the storage unit was a safe. And what do we know about safes? They are where you keep important and expensive stuff to stop them from being lost, stolen, or damaged. But he didn't know the combination, so he used a drill to break it open. We'd like to end this here and say that it was empty, but it was anything but. Instead, it was filled from top to bottom with $26,000 in cash and other knickknacks. David videoed the whole thing and uploaded it to YouTube so he could show off what he found. Upon opening the safe, the entire family was ecstatic. There were bundles and bundles of notes, which quickly added up to many thousands of dollars. David also discovered jars of coins and other unique items. Now that's a payday if we ever did see one. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. This footage shows a man called Jerry Heasley exploring an abandoned storage unit to find out what might be inside, and there's no way he could have expected to find what he did. He was filming because he thought he might find something cool, but he never could have anticipated this. In the unit, he found a 1967 Shelby GT500, a car worth more than 60,000 US dollars. Crikey, now that's a heck of a find. How would you feel if you found such a car just abandoned like that? Would you take it? Let us know. Comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Most Valuable Locker on Storage War Storage Wars has been a favorite TV show of many, because who doesn't like discovering treasures? There have been some good hauls over its dozen seasons, and a few busts as well. But perhaps one of the most valuable lockers ever shown on the show was one that Daryl Sheets purchased during the season 3 finale in 2012. Daryl spent $3,600 on the locker. That might seem like a lot, but it certainly paid for itself many times over. Daryl discovered a Frank Gutierrez art collection, which, when valued on site, was found to be worth over $300,000. After the show went on air, Daryl took to Twitter to outline what happened next. He discovered that the locker belonged to the artist himself, so he was able to speak to Frank Gutierrez directly and even gave him back some of his personal possessions, though we're pretty sure he didn't part with the whole haul. During the seasons, a tally is kept to see who has earned the most. With such an expensive art collection, it's pretty obvious to see who came out on top that time. Number 13. Beach Boys Memorabilia Love them or hate them, the Beach Boys have been providing outstanding entertainment for the masses for decades. Because of their fame and popularity, their memorabilia have become quite valuable. So you can imagine the surprise of a storage unit auction winner when he stumbled across boxes and boxes of Beach Boys memorabilia that may not have seen the light of day for many years. The collection was discovered in a storage locker in Bal Harbor where several non-payments saw it auctioned off to the highest bidder. Once the owner went through the locker, you can imagine their surprise when they discovered what was to become one of the largest memorabilia memorabilia collections ever to be auctioned off, with an appraised value of between six to eight million dollars. Amongst the collection were valuable items like the band's first royalty check for nine hundred dollars, signed contracts, and sheet music. 
Nothing ever goes smoothly, though, and the Beach Boys started legal proceedings after it was thought the memorabilia was taken without permission. Fortunately, all is well that ends well. And when the collection was finally allowed to be sold, only a small portion of the funds had to go back to the Beach Boys, who then had to split it with their legal team, corporate entities, and investors. Number 12. Automotive Gold any car enthusiasts will be frothing out the mouth about now when they learn what a man discovered after purchasing a storage unit. He had made the purchase remotely and didn't know what he was buying. Though, when he visited the unit, he was utterly shocked. Inside the unit was a stunning 1966 Ford Falcon and a collection of automotive parts. These included a Garrett turbocharger, Mazda 13B rotary engine, Jaguar IRS rear end, and a VW091 transaxle. As with anything that's been stored in a unit for an extended period, you don't have high hopes that it'll work as well as it did when it was first parked. Though the man was pleasantly surprised when he only had to make a few quick repairs to get the Falcon started. As it was in unrestored form, the man planned on selling it to someone who wanted to turn it into a muscle car. He was also probably able to sell off all the many other parts in the unit with ease, given how desirable they are to the average car enthusiast. Number 11. Elvis Presley Newspapers You might see a stack of newspapers and think they hold no value. And you're probably right, because if you've seen an episode of Hoarders, there are sometimes piles of worthless newspapers everywhere. One man had an altogether different experience with his stack of newspapers, though. In 2010, during an episode of Storage Wars, a man won a storage unit auction and discovered a massive pile of newspapers dating back to when Elvis Presley died on August 16th, 1977. He probably didn't think they held any value at first, especially given the price of a newspaper newspaper back then was seven pence, but quickly changed his mind when he saw the front covers. It was like a step back in time, with the world being shown in mourning over the loss of the king. The newspapers looked slightly yellow, but were otherwise in mint condition. Upon getting the papers valued, the storage unit owner discovered they were worth around $90,000. So the next time a family member tells you to stop hoarding those piles of newspapers, consider reminding them of that episode. You might just get rich one day. Number 10. $7.5 million cash. You might think that the only way to become an instant millionaire is by winning the lottery. But as it turns out, you just have to turn up to a storage auction, spend 500 bucks, and hope for the best. That's what one man did, and it worked in his favor. The unknown man purchased a storage unit from Storage Wars star and auctioneer Dan Dotson. Inside it, he discovered a duffel bag filled with bundles of notes. There are even photos to prove it. At that moment, the man's probably thinking about all the things he can do with that money. After all, the previous owner of any lockers have three months to claim their lockers after non-payments before it goes up for auction, and that never happened. However, after the episode went to air, or the windfall was discovered, the man's millionaire status took a dramatic drop. An attorney reached out to the winner on behalf of the original owner. He was offered $1.2 million in exchange for returning the remainder of the cash, which he appears to have decided to do. Whatever way you look at it, though, he still walked away with $1.2 million bucks after only spending $500. Number 9. Cash in Old Suitcase when storage units go up for auction, people often wonder why dozens of people turn up to try and buy them. Why would you want to buy someone else's household lot of furniture when you've got your own? The reason is, there's always an opportunity to make a profit. On an episode of Storage Battles at Guardian Self Storage, that rang true. A unit came up for auction that no one wanted to buy. One time a previous owner somehow tracked him down. All it had in it was a vacuum cleaner and a suitcase. There was very little mystery around it. However, one of the regular storage unit purchasers decided to take a gamble on it. People scoffed at him and made fun of him for spending 35 bucks on the unit. However, 
However, he definitely showed them up when he discovered what was in the suitcase. At first, he pulled bags and shoes out of the suitcase. Then, he opened the front pocket and discovered an envelope of $100 bills. In total, he walked away with $1,500 for his $35 purchase. He also had the added benefit of not having to spend hours cleaning the unit out. Number 8. $3,391 DeLorean Storage unit auctions are a big deal in the United States, but they're also taken off around the world, including in the UK. Storage Hunters UK is a TV show that operates similarly to those that are filmed here, and as it turns out, they often reveal some of the same exciting treasures. It could be the flux capacitor. Did you just say it could be the flux capacitor? Yeah. People mill around shopping containers waiting for their chance to hit the big time. Before a particular shipping container is opened, the auctioneer says it hasn't been cracked open in over 20 years, and it sure looks it when he opens it up. Inside is the shape of a vehicle covered in old, dusty blankets. There are also a few tires and wheels at the front, which adds weight to the idea that it is a car under that blanket. No one knows what it is or whether it even has a motor, so it's a massive gamble. For one who's willing to take the risk, it pays off. A man ends up spending 2,500 pounds on the storage unit, or 3,391 US dollars. When he takes a peek, he realizes what he has is worth a lot more. He has just uncovered a DMC DeLorean, a sports car from the 1980s worth at least 70,000 to $90,000. Number 7. Millions of Dollars in Gold and Jewelry while many unique finds in storage lockers have been discovered at storage auctions, it's not the only circumstance in which valuable items are found. Sometimes they're found through police busts. That's how millions of dollars in gold and jewelry came to be discovered in Australia. It was also about $4 million in Australian currency. Detectives raided a storage unit in 2011 where they discovered 120 kilograms of silver bullion and $2 million in cash and foreign currency. But that wasn't all. There were also fake IDs, precious stones and antiques, and gold and silver jewelry. Police believe the 120 kilograms of silver bullion may have been made by melting down silver jewelry. They also think the massive haul consisted mostly of items stolen in burglaries of homes and storage units throughout Melbourne and Sydney's North Shore. Two men were arrested at a boarding house and were extradited to Victoria as they were wanted on outstanding warrants. Police also believed that many victims of these crimes may not even be aware their possessions were missing, particularly those at storage facilities. They hope to reunite as many people as possible with their valuables. Number 6. Nicholas Cage's Missing Action Comic the unfortunate reality of buying any auction storage units is that sometimes they contain ill-gotten goods. That was certainly the case when a man bought a storage locker's contents at a Los Angeles liquidation auction. The man stumbled across the extremely rare 1938 Action Comics No. 1. In good condition, this comic book is worth over a million dollars because it shows the first appearance of Superman. We're not sure how it came about, but the comic book was handed over to police because it had been stolen from American actor Nicolas Cage's home a decade before. He had reported it stolen from his West Los Angeles property in 2000 and received an insurance payout. To confirm it was the correct copy, the New York dealer, Stephen Fischler, who sold him the issue, flew to California. He said he felt great satisfaction of seeing the book a decade later in the same condition in which it had been stolen. It wasn't clear whether Nicholas got the comic book back, given that he had received a payout from his insurance company many years before. Number 5. $500,000 in Pirate's Gold as children, we often read about stumbling across pirates' treasure. You know, the real deal. Treasure chests filled with doubloons. Once we became adults, we learned they were just childhood fantasies that would never happen. One man proved that to be false when he purchased a storage locker with some amazing items inside. The unnamed man purchased the locker for $1,000 in Contra Costa County from Dan and Laura Dotson, stars and auctioneers on the show Storage Wars. A thousand bucks might seem like a lot, but it's not when you realize the storage locker you purchased contains a 200-year-old pirate 
Pete's treasure chest with over half a million dollars in gold doubloons. An expert described the treasure as Spanish gold that dates back to between the 16th and 19th centuries. The box containing the doubloons was so heavy that three people were required to remove it from the storage locker. Why buy a lotto ticket when you can hit the jackpot with an abandoned storage unit? We don't know what the auction winner did with his booty, but we can only imagine he's now living the high life. Number 4. Abandoned Bugatti while not technically a storage unit find, this is something we just couldn't leave out. In 2009, the family of a doctor who was a compulsive hoarder discovered a car abandoned in his garage for 50 years. Dr. Harold Carr had died, and his family were tasked with the mammoth job of clearing out all his stuff. And given that he was a hoarder, there was a lot of it. Before stumbling across the car, they had gone through piles of medical machinery, thousands of receipts, a World War II spy drone, and around 1,500 beer steins. When they found the dust-covered 1937 Bugatti Type 575, they were awestruck. It had been previously owned by the first president of the British Racing Drivers Club, a racing enthusiast named Earl Howe. A few owners later, it ended up in the hands of Dr. Carr. He purchased it in 1955 for 895 pounds, which is around 15,500 pounds in today's money, or 21,000 US dollars. Dr. Carr's family put the Bugatti up for auction at the Bonhams Retromobile Car Show and Sale in Paris, and it sold to a phone bidder for 343,293 pounds, or a little over 4 million US dollars. Number 3. 1976 Lotus Esprit Sports Car When a couple from Long Island purchased an unclaimed storage unit for a hundred bucks in 1989, they were pretty excited to have found a car in it. It was a 1976 Lotus Esprit Sports Car that had been safely tucked away under some blankets to keep it safe. They thought they had an ordinary car, but that certainly wasn't the case. As they hauled it home on a flatbed truck, many truck drivers commented on it over the CB radio. Surely it wasn't that interesting. But what the couple didn't know was that it wasn't just any Lotus Esprit, it was the very one that had featured in the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. If you've seen the movie, you'll recognize it as the vehicle that transforms into a missile-firing submarine. When they got home, they sought advice from Doug Redenius, the Ian Fleming Foundation founder. He authenticated the vehicle, and the couple decided to put it up for auction. That auction caught Elon Musk's auction, who ended up putting in an anonymous bid for the car, paying $997,000. Not a bad day at the office when you can make $996,900 profit in a single day. Number 2. Faceless Cash a man had purchased a storage unit for $400, only to discover inside it was an old truck containing $24,000 in cash. You would be pretty excited to find that amount of money, but his excitement quickly turned to horror when he realized someone had cut the faces out of every single bill. But first of all, who does that? Who spends any length of time with a drill to go through piles of notes and remove the faces? And secondly, why keep the money after that point? Not willing to admit defeat, the man decided to do his homework on whether the bills would still be worth anything with the faces gone. Fortunately for him, the US US Treasury does accept faceless bills, as long as their serial numbers are intact and they pass other tests to ensure they are legal tender. So in just a few short minutes, the man went from utter excitement to utter devastation, then back to utter excitement again. Maybe there is hope when you accidentally put your wallet through the washing machine and destroy all your cash. Number 1. Original Amelia Earhart Photos most people, young and old, will be familiar with the name Amelia Earhart. She was an American aviation pioneer who became the first female aviator to fly across the Atlantic Ocean solo. She also wrote best-selling books and broke several records. Her last attempt at a record was in 1937 when she got into a Lockheed Martin 10E Electro with navigator Fred Noonan to circumnavigate the globe. 
She wanted to be the first person to do it. However, they disappeared near Howland Island over the Central Pacific Ocean. They were last seen in Leh, New Guinea in mid-1937 and were declared dead in 1939. Many of her memories and experiences died with her, but some were also discovered in a storage unit of all places. Tracy, California resident Diane Brown cleaned out a storage unit she had won when she found an envelope containing old photos. Many people would have mistaken them for cash and been disappointed at finding pictures, but not in this case. The photos were of Amelia, and most of them would not have been seen before. After consulting the experts, Diane was told each one could be worth as much as $1,000. Wow, these people sure got lucky when they purchased their storage units. Do they make you want to buy some yourself? Have you ever bought one before and discovered something unique, expensive, or exciting? Tell us about it in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.